to be competitive on this market, time to market is the key. Customers are going to expect higher and higher levels of performance and availability. And by using machine learning, not only for the feature, but even for the development, we will be much faster in deploying our systems. If you think about training vision systems with a picture of a cat or a picture of a dog or a car, that's a, you know, relatively straightforward. When you think about a radar signature and how do you train, you know, train radar, well, radar images aren't like a cat or a dog. They're a little bit more complex than that. It means mostly to increase performance, to, to be able to better recognize pedestrians, for example, or to, to uh, increase the distance of a good perception. With the power of innovations happening in neural network, sensor fusion that is happening across vision and radar, making it very much possible for us to imagine all kinds of scenarios and implement them in the safety and convenience scenarios for the vehicle. Tracking all the body positions, um, the hand position, having gesture detection with just a mono camera, segmenting everything like mobile phones, uh, everything that's in the vehicle, trying to understand what happens in the vehicle by machine learning. We use a lot of algorithms, we use a deep ne neural network to train. We use camera to detect the user behavior as well as the data to connect those two and then determine the behavior and fatigue of the driver. We want to bring that to the end consumer in a way that they can really enjoy it but can afford to pay for it. But what we figured out after a while is that if you have machine learning and a good approach and a good um, process how to improve find corner cases, we could even get almost the same performance out of lower quality sensors um, than on the high end in the end. The software is becoming much better uh, with the innovations. I think that the next years we will see even more improvements.